In this video, we're going to look at the Adalify file uploader, but using your own Amazon S3 bucket. We've already got the normal file uploader released, but a lot of people have requested that they use their own S3 bucket, so we have now introduced that. Um, firstly, on the Adalify website, we now just have two plans. If you want to use your own S3 bucket, um, you will need to have the pro plan. The benefits of using your own S3 are as you scale, it's going to be cheaper for you. And number two, it's going to give you a lot more control over access to the data and um, you can define your own security rules, etc. Um, but just for testing out, you could just use basic. But if you want your own S3, um, you need the pro plan. So we've got our documentation. Um, on using your own S3 bucket. First thing to point out is um, there's already another video on the basics of setting up the file uploader. I'll put it in the description and you should watch that first um, about how to set up the file uploader in your Adalo app. So once you've done that, you can go on to using your own Amazon S3 bucket. So let's follow through the documentation and get going. So firstly, create a bucket or use an existing one. So if you wanted to set up a new bucket, let's click on this link and create a bucket. Uploader S3, I'm gonna call it. Okay, and I'm going to untick that and no need for that and disable that. So I'm just going to get a basic bucket created. Okay, there we go. It's just called Uploader S3. Now let's go back to the documentation and we're going to create a new IAM account. So now we're going to AWS IAM, and we're going to go to Users, um, and add a user. Uploader tester, let's say. And we're going to cho choose programmatic access. We're going to attach existing policies directly, and create policy. So if we go back to the documentation here, all those steps I've just done are down here. And we need to go to the JSON tab and copy in this JSON here from the documentation. And then we need to rename here the name of that bucket. So I called mine Uploader S3. Okay, let's click on Next and click on Review. Okay, so we name our new policy and then click on Create Policy, um, Uploader Policy, and Create. So back at the screen, Attach Existing Policies Directly, filter the policy by the new policy name and make sure it's checked, then click Next Tags. Okay, so we call it Uploader. Let's refresh this page. Okay, there we go, Uploader Policy. So let's select that and press Next Tags. And Next Review. and click on Create User.
Okay, the next thing we need is to go um, on our Adalify dashboard to our S3 setup. So you need to be logged in to your Adalify account and it's down here, AWS S3 settings. And then uh, we need to input access key, secret access key and bucket name. So let's go back to our user here. We'll copy that access key ID and then copy the secret key and the bucket name which was uploader S3. So we can update the configuration. Okay, we can see AWS configuration updated. Okay, now we need to go back to the bucket permissions. So let's go to S3 and go to our bucket. We go to permissions and go down to cross origin resource sharing. Get this JSON here and add it into our cause. Okay, and we're going to save changes. In the permissions tab under block public access, the first two need to be unchecked. And this is going to allow um, the Adalify API to upload the file. If you're not worried about public access to your videos, etc., you could leave them all unticked. Okay, so in this example, um, I've got all of these off. And as the documentation says, everything else is the same. So if you're set up with the file uploader already, all you need to do is fill in on Adalify your details, and then it will automatically start uploading to your own S3 bucket. Okay, so I'm gonna test the uploader now and check that it goes um, to that new S3 bucket that I've just created. So let's browse for a file, upload, and then click on confirm upload. Okay, and that's looking good. Let's go back to our S3 bucket, objects, and refresh this and you can see we've got an upload in our folder here. So really as simple as that, as long as your details are filled in on your Adalify account for S3, it will automatically use your S3 bucket. So I hope that all makes sense. Don't forget you need to have watched the other video first and if there are any questions you can ask on YouTube or email support at adalify.com. Thank you.